So mainstream media tells us that it's over on Friday. Lakers will clinch the title on Friday. That the NBA, this season, will officially wrap on Friday. That's what they're telling us. Okay, before I get into that, I do want to thank our sponsor, Inner Barack. Thank you for bringing this thing here. Appreciate it. All right, so let's get back into it. Yes, people are talking about it's going to be over on Friday. No, I say no. I actually guarantee it. We are going to be watching the NBA on Sunday, the finals. And I'll tell you why. Yeah, I, I know I did a video talking about some of those missed calls and certain calls. Even if those calls were corrected and everything, I wasn't saying that it was a guarantee that the Heat were going to win. No, it's just it put them in a position where it was impossible for them to win. But if, but if, but if, if those were corrected, they had a chance. They had a very good chance. But then when you want to beat, you know, the favorites, what you need to do is really pound them. You really got to beat them. You really, really got to beat them. That's what you got to do. You got to beat them where nobody can deny you. That's what you need to do. And that's what the Heat did not do. They did not beat them like that. They did not embarrass them like what they did in game number three when everybody was calling it an upset. Right. Everybody was upset because the favorites lost that game. That's what happened. But yeah, Burner Boy, he went what, two or seven? Jay Crowder? I mean, come on, two or seven. That's not good. Attempting all threes and going for two or seven. Not good. That's not going to help. That's not going to cut it. Tyler Hero, eight of 18. That's not going to cut it. That's not going to cut it. And majority of the shots, he got him in the fourth quarter. So throughout the whole game, things are not so good. All right. Jimmy, Jimmy was what, 8 of 17? Also not good. I mean, they played one of their worst games. And the game was really close all the way to the very end. All the way to the very end. Lakers were shook all the way to the very end. They were shook. The only time you saw them celebrating or showing some kind of emotion was when they went up by 9. When AD hit that 3. I mean, you're already up by six. Of course, he's going to attempt that three. Of course, he made it prior to that when the game was tight. He attempted a three in the fourth quarter. You saw AD and he missed it. He was quiet. He was quiet. Game got tight. He turned the ball over. Right. I mean, all he had to do is just, you know, pass the rock. And this dude throws the rock all the way out. I keep telling you guys, when the game gets tight, AD is not that dude. But of course, you know... He's playing for the favorites and people are going to praise him. That's what keeps happening and people choose not to look at those mistakes that he makes or flaws that he has. No, it's kind of like in a relationship when you when you love somebody or you think you love them, you want to be with them. They will do all kind of crazy stuff. You're just not seeing it because you're in love. That's what's happening. People are just in love with AD right now. They don't want to hear or see anything. Anything that he does is fine. It's AD. He plays for the Lakers. He plays with Bron Bron. Yes. The Bra Bra. That's right. He's great. Yeah, I keep hearing that. But he ain't that dude. He ain't that dude. And that's what's going to happen in game number five. He's going to disappear again. Because that game, I know the Heat. Knowing their DNA, they're going to come back with a vengeance. They're going to come back with the vengeance and we're going to be watching basketball on Sunday. We're going to be watching basketball on Sunday. Like I said, I guarantee it. We're not going to have the same kind of numbers. Two or seven from Burner Boy? No, that's not happening. Jay Crowder ain't going out like that. No, he ain't going out like that. Duncan Robinson, he's starting to get his rhythm, man. I mean, he's just starting to warm up right now. He, he ain't about to go back home right now. He's not ready. He's not ready. Division three, NCAA man. He came, he came, he came from a long way. He ain't about to go home right now. He ain't about to go home right now. No, Tyler Hero, he's not ready to go home. He's a youngin. He could play. He could play every day. He's not done yet. He wants to play some more. Those type of numbers, no, we're not going to be seeing those type of numbers. I mean, the Lakers, yeah, I understand why everybody's celebrating. At times, you know, it's 
supposedly the two top five players going against three rookies. You have Duncan out there, you have Tyler Hero, and you have, uh, uh, what's his name? None, right? At times they out there just balling, and come on, man, come on. And they ain't giving him a hard time. And they ain't giving him a hard time in game four. They were giving him a hard time. Rookies, man. Rookies. They were giving him a hard time. Just imagine that. That's that's what I'm talking about, man. The Heat are not going anywhere. We're going to be watching the NBA on Sunday. I guarantee it. Hey, make sure you uh, hit the like button right there, right? It kind of helps me out a little bit. So um, I know it's not a lot of people watching my videos, but I would like for more people to watch my videos. So help me out a little bit. Hit that like button. So the YouTube algorithm and all that blah, 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 blah gets to work a little bit. So my video goes around and people get to check it. And do subscribe, please. And tell a friend. Share it. All right. Thanks for watching my video. Appreciate it.